Hello, and welcome to the January 9th uh, Inkscape Developer Update. Um, I am an Inkscape developer, and uh, I am here to update you on my activities this week. Uh, first of all, I want to give a big thank, thank you for my new Patreons who have jo joined me for 2021. Um, this uh, project to try and make Inkscape uh, reflect users' desires can only ha happen with your support, so thank, and thank you very much. Um, and first of all, let's kick into uh, what happened or what I got up to this week. Uh, after I've done the update, I'm going to do the uh, t-shirt uh, draw to see who wins the t-shirt. Um, so this week, I had I had to deal with a particular issue with the extensions manager. Uh, the extensions manager is a new way that you can install um, Python-based extensions into Inkscape. Uh, instead of having to manually copy files into a special directory that you might not ever know exists. Um, the important thing is, is that back when I made the extensions manager, I kind of designed it around uh, the Python infrastructure the, called PyPy. Uh, it's the Python package index. And um, PyPy decided in 2021 to uh, stop the API that allows you to search and without being able to search for things, the, the extensions manager is basically dead. Uh, so in order to revive it, I had to change to plan B, which is that instead of uh, going out to a, a different service where these extensions would be stored, um, they all now have to be stored on the Inkscape website, uh, which is fine because the Inkscape website already contains a lot of extensions uh, uploaded to our gallery system. So I can just tie it into that. Um, the problem, th there are two big problems. One is that the Inkscape website, uh, the search for gallery items was based on Wush, which is a sort of, um, it's okay for small numbers of items, but as soon as you start getting heavy load or you have a lot of items to in in index, it becomes a, it's very slow. So, I had to pull out Wush and replace it with something called Zapien. Zapien is sort of like your full fat enterprise level, it's totally amazing full full text search indexer. Uh, the good news is that I already had to have Z Zapien uh, set up for the forums because the forums would just wouldn't survive doing a search in the forums uh, on Wush either. Um, and then I had to uh, make it so that you could search for and download. Uh, extensions um, by using basically an API. So I had to create an API that, that the, the extensions manager can use in order to extract information and install the, the packages. Um, so that, that was the first half of my week, is basically modifying the website in order to be able to um, search for and get access to information that other people have uploaded or uploaded. This includes being able to validate and verify that extensions are um, what they claim to be. They do not have malware in, in them. So all extensions will have uh, ver verification. And so the hope is, is that we can get um, some volunteers to have a look at the code and just check to make sure that like, there's nothing problematic. Um, while I was there, I also fixed an issue with, with the calendars. So. So the second problem is that the extensions manager code itself, the graphic user interface that, that I built, made a lot of heavy um, assumptions about uh, like the package formatting, how things would be installed, not just like the search, but like how, how, how the whole thing would fit together. And those assumptions were really baked in in a way that like I couldn't really unpick. Um, and so one of the things that you can do instead of trying to fix a problem bit by bit is just set fire to everything. And so what I did is I ended up deleting about half of the extensions manager code. Um, I pulled it all out um, and then I put bits of it back in uh, as I was rebuilding uh, the 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 way in which it did searches and the way that it, it installed things um, because there's just a lot of stuff that now is completely di diff different. I mean, it's different pulling it in from the website than it is pulling it in as a as a um, an archive. Now, 
we get two big advantages to this um, forced uh, change. One is that uh, you no longer have to create an actual Python archive in order to be able to create an extension. All of the extensions that just have an, uh, an INX file and a PI file inside, the, inside a zip file, those will now install. Uh, before they wouldn't, before they would just be like, well, I can't install this, that's not a Python thing. Um, the second is that uh, I've now enabled it to install non-extensions. So it will install templates and palettes and uh, keyboard shortcuts, although nobody has ever uploaded a keyboard sh sh shortcut to the website. Um, and so the idea is, is like, you should technically be able to install more than just extensions. Uh, I'm probably going to um, enable that functionality later on, but we'll see how, how, how the graphic user interface shakes out because there's a lot of things to make sure that that... Um, you know, the kind of assumptions that I make about extensions, the kinds of files that I need for extensions, also play out with uh, palettes, for instance. Um, so that has kept my week pretty much um, busy. I'd say. Uh, if there's any particular issues with Inkscape that you're struggling with, um, let me know. Um, I'll probably be getting back to uh, hardcore bug fi fixing with the actual Inkscape codebase itself uh, sometime soon. Uh, but in the following week, I'm pro probably going to be continuing with the extensions manager because it's, I think it's important to make sure it works before, before the release. Um, okay, and with that, let's get on with this uh, draw for, and I'll show you, I'll show you the t-shirt. There she is. And the winner, I have, I have my hat. I'm not pulling it out of this hat because I figured this hat was more, uh, okay. And the winner is computer user. Um, if you are a computer user, please, you, you need to let me know your address. Uh, and I will message, I will uh, post this to you. Uh, thank you very much for, for everybody wa watching. Um, and until next week, uh, draw free freely, as, as I said on the pod podcast.